Hey, how's it going YouTube? Today I have an awesome video for you guys. I'm going to be doing my first desk setup tour that I've ever done on this channel and I'm going to show you guys what I've accumulated over the years and if you're curious about anything that I'm showing you in this video, I will have a link to a video where I go over that product down below in the description. This desk setup is used primarily for my schoolwork. I am a computer science major right now. I'm kind of at the halfway mark to my bachelor's degree. So it is used heavily for uh, like coding, uh, my networking classes, and all my gen ed classes that I have to take. Also love making YouTube videos and streaming on the side. So this is going to be a video that shows you all of the main tools, equipment, and toys pretty much that I use to make all that stuff happen. Before I get into anything, if you leave a like, sub, and a comment, it goes a long way in supporting this channel, and I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Okay, so the first and arguably most important piece to my desk setup is my PC. So my PC is the HP Omen 30L with a 3080 and I'll have all of the specific specs right here. Uh, I got this PC in the beginning of 2021 where the GPU shortage was uh, was very real and I was lucky enough to get it um, I think around 2000 and I was just kind of refreshing sites left and right and I luckily snagged it overall I haven't had really any issues with it as long as you keep the ambient temperature of your room fairly low then you're not gonna have any issues but it is kind of loud and it has really just one giant fan to cool the whole system. Other than that though, having a 3080 has just made gaming, streaming, pretty much anything that I want to do a breeze and very enjoyable. Now that 3080 wouldn't be anything without a decent monitor and this monitor I actually got well before I got the HP Omen 30L. I got it for like $350 on sale and that's the HP Omen 27i. It is a 1440p 165Hz monitor and it is just a dream and of course one thing that it really ties into with my whole setup is like the little RGB thing. Uh, don't really know how I feel about it right now. I, I do love me some RGB, but I see all these, you know, classy professional desk setups and uh, I think I might start leaning towards something like that. I don't know, what do you guys prefer? Uh, RGB gamer setup or uh, productivity kind of desk setup? Let me know in the comments down below. So I got the 27i at the time to power my Razer Blade 15, which I have used as a second monitor for streaming and just all around random web browsing while you know my PC is powering my main monitor. However, I have recently just swapped that out with the MacBook Pro 14 inch and this thing has made video editing an absolute dream, especially with a newborn son. I can take my MacBook, any room that I would need to sit there, I can edit, do my homework, and I don't have to worry about any battery life or overheating. If I had tried to do that with a razor blade, then that thing would be dead in like an hour and a half with uh, video editing. And also, a long time ago, I got the student bundle discount for uh, Apple software, which had Logic, Final Cut Pro, and a few others, all for $300, and it's been linked to my Apple account this whole time, whereas DaVinci Resolve, it is just impossible to find a key for just the software. You have to buy like a $1,000 camera or a weird little speed editor thing that I don't really care for, so I'm really glad to have a new MacBook and I think over the course of next year, you know, when I do my 2023 setup, I am going to try and have a very well integrated 
Mac slash PC setup with, you know, like a whole USB-C switching hub. And I was thinking about maybe making this MacBook a streaming PC in, in a sense. Uh, that way I can take a load off of my 3080, maybe just put like a capture card into the Mac. Uh, let the M1 Pro do its thing with OBS. I don't know. I'm really looking into that. If you guys have tried something out like that before, let me know in the comments uh, so I could check out some cool gear or setups to kind of uh, model mine after. Next in the peripherals, I have the Razer Huntsman TKL with the red optical gator silent switches. This thing is a beast of a keyboard. I did have the Huntsman Mini, but I was really missing the arrow keys, especially for someone like me who is also going to school and not having those arrow keys for different kinds of coding programs was just such a pain having to hold a function and then like J, whatever. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to have designated arrow keys and of course this keyboard It sounds awesome. It feels awesome types awesome, and it is a great gaming keyboard nonetheless as far as my mouse goes I have the Razer Viper ultimate. I did have the basilisk ultimate but the lower weight and the lower profile of the Viper ultimate it, it it took a bit to get used to, but once I tried to go back to the Basilisk, I really could not, uh, I could not go back to that form factor. And I also thought about getting maybe a Logitech Super Pro Lite X Salomon OP, whatever it's called. Um, but the fact that I already have, you know, a cool little RGB dock that works with Razer Synapse, which already has my mouse, my keyboard, Let's not forget about my desk pad, which also adds a nice little touch of RGB, the Razer Goliath XL, I think it is. And all of that kind of trying to keep it in one tight little ecosystem, and I'm a sucker for just using something, putting it down, and when you come back the next day, it's completely charged, ready to go. And for that, the Viper Ultimate with the dock is just a no-brainer for me. Even the Viper Ultimate second version, I know it's USB-C, which is very nice, but taking away that dock capability is just not something that I personally appreciate or would want to upgrade for. To me, it's kind of a downgrade. Next, I have my gaming headset of choice, which is the Arctis Pro Nova Wireless from SteelSeries. I'm still working on the review for this headset. I really wanted to give it you know, a fair couple weeks of use before I made a review. I do have an unboxing and first impressions video if you guys want to check that out. But this headset is nothing short of amazing in my opinion. You have that little wireless DAC that not only allows you to change all the customization settings and the sound profiles, game chat mix, anything that you would need is on there and it also has a second battery. So again, kind of the same thing with uh, you know the Viper Ultimate where you kind of set it and forget it on the charger. This always has a battery charging inside of that little DAC. So if your headset dies, you can take the battery out of it and it's got a little capacitor that keeps it alive enough to change batteries without having to reconnect. That way you basically have an unlimited game time with that headset. And you could also take it on the go. It has a USB-C port on the side. It sounds really great not only for games, but it sounds great for music as well. And let's not forget that you can be playing games and listening to music at the same time with the multi-point connection. You could also connect up to two devices with the USB-C ports on the back. So PC, PS5, Xbox, Switch, just make sure if you do want to connect to an Xbox that you buy the Xbox version of this because Xbox does have a proprietary wireless connection. So very important to keep in mind, but definitely an S tier headset in my opinion. Next on my desk, I have the Audio Engine HD3 Plus 
Pro, I don't know, forget what the name is, um, I'll put it right here. These audio engines come in with a built-in deck as well, so I just connect straight to my PC via USB, and it is, they're just amazing sounding little speakers. There is an option to connect a subwoofer with them, but honestly, I listen to music and whatnot more uh, with my headset, especially with my son who's sleeping all the time. Don't really want to disturb him, but these speakers sound amazing and I love the aesthetic of them. I haven't made a video on these speakers yet, but if you guys would like to see something like that, uh, let me know in the comments down below and uh, yeah, I'll get into it. For my streaming setup, I have the Razer Keo Pro webcam. It's a 1080p 60 frame per second webcam, uh, but it looks uh, pretty decent. Uh, now with the Sony a7 IV that I'm recording on right now, I have a Lumix that is just kind of sitting there. So I was thinking about getting the Elgato camera card where you could use a camera as a webcam. Uh, may start looking into that to kind of improve the setup, but for, you know, just streaming as a little hobby, uh, this webcam is fairly cheap and does what I need it to do. And on the other hand, I have the Razer Siren X as my mic. For a USB mic, it's not too shabby. It does everything that I need it to do, but that is also something that eventually I think I would upgrade, kind of having like, um, an audio interface with a actual mic plug-in. Doing that analog to digital conversion, I've noticed, really makes for a nicer sound, um, but for a very easy plug-and-play, I have my Razer Siren X, and it's on just some kind of random cheap $15 Amazon mic stand that I found. Now, when I am gaming and getting work done here at my desk, I like to have my phone sitting and charging on a Samsung 15 watt standing charger. That way I could see my notifications and whatnot and also get that nice 15 watt charge, but it only works for Samsung devices to my knowledge. Uh, Apple locks out 15 watts of fast charging to their MagSafe chargers, so just something to keep in mind with that but it's very nice, reliable, and charges my phones fast, so I, I really like it. Also, to add to the aesthetic, I have a nice little bonsai tree right there uh, that I found at like Ross or something. The little Ikea ferns that are on every YouTuber's uh, desk, uh, not really for me, per se, um, but that little bonsai tree, you know, especially just kind of sitting there in the background, I think looks very nice and adds a lot of character to my desk. Last but not least, I have the MacBook Pro 14, which I use as a second monitor for chat uh, while I stream, and just a second monitor slash computer to have up while I'm gaming or something and I want to search something really quick. It has that nice Pro Motion XDR Apple magic in the display. It has great speakers and all that. I currently don't have it docked up or anything because like I said, um, being a new dad and being a full-time college student and you know part-time YouTuber and all that, it's really nice to be able to take it off the charger and have full power wherever I go in the house. But I am going to slowly start inching towards really integrating it into my setup and having like a one USB-C cable to rule them all kind of thing and have a way to make it play nice with my PC at the same time. So I'm really kind of trying to figure out how that looks in the future, but I'm kind of excited to incorporate this into my little battle station here. That is all that I have for you guys today. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you'd like to see more of this content, leave a sub. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Anytime you leave a comment, I'll do my best to reply. I love hearing from you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.